I'm gonna just look even further. Look at this. See, that's oh, that's what happens when you have gone, you uh, have gone through your entire lifeline, your entire oh, lifeline. Oh, <laughs> What's going on? It's your boy Sinte with the Intel, and you already see my boy is really upset at me. Look, I know, I know, I'm breaking up how we normally do this. Listen, you gotta understand. Look, first, let me say Rakai is in the building. <laughs> Rakai, <laughs> tell the people what's up, and then I'll say, you know, why you, why you got your face fixed like that. Hello, Governor. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Listen, Rakai is not a fan of horror. Not at all. And I picked what is arguably considered one of the greatest sci-fi horrors of all time. A classic alien. The original Sigourney Weaver joint. And we picked it up special because, you know, the previews for Romulus has just come out. So, you see that look on his face? Look at this. Look at him, bro. Yeah. I'm risking my friendship to give y'all this entertainment. You see what I'm doing here? <laughs> so without any further ado, let's get started. Oh, it even sounds old schooly. Now, from my understanding, this is the director's cut. So we may be getting a little bit more footage from some of the OG originals. Oh, the director's cut. The even scarier, the one that he originally... Yeah, okay. It's I see what we're doing here. Let's, Hold let's on, look, look, you know how the glasses work? <laughs> oh, yo, this is going to be great. Oh, man. Yo, first time watching arguably one of the scariest sci-fi joints out. Also, just to give y'all a heads up, on IMDb, it is still, I think it's rated in IMDb's top 100 aliens, or at least definitely in the top 200. And it has an 8.5 with over 946,000 thousand votes and it's still holding an 8.5 where's earth i've seen her before and other stuff it's not our system it's good miss veronica cartwright how does she go up here i'm gonna do my seat just go thank you sorry he got on a headband for no apparent reason like <laughs> what's happening now baby you know i just realized well that dude We're, in the back is so Bilbo Baggins. Home yet. We're only halfway there. What? Huh? Yeah. Ian Holm. The guy in the back. In the very back. Shut That's up. That's Bilbo Baggins, dog. <laughs> what? Seems she has intercepted a transmission of unknown origin. She got us up to check it out. A transmission? Out here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind of a transmission? That part. And it uh, repeats at intervals of 12 seconds. SOS. I don't know. Human. Unknown. So what? That said, everything about that says nope. Oh, yeah. But uh, this is a commercial ship, not a rescue ship. Right. And it's not my Facts. contract to do this kind of duty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leave it to the brother. The brother be like, nah, we're That's right. That. <laughs> nah. Good God. Doesn't sound like any radio signal I've heard. Mm. Maybe it's a voice. Mm hmm. Well, we'll soon know. Can you hone in on that? It's the Borg. Mm -hmm. Planetoid. 1,200 kilometers. It's tiny. We need rotation. About two hours. Can't be much. You can walk on it. Mm. Is that it? Yeah, it's the alien planet. Is that their ship? Yeah, that's their ship. Oh, this is exciting, man, because I really don't know, like, how it really, really goes this, down. This is exciting? It is, man, because I like, you know, the concept of aliens and predators and stuff. But, you know, I've always gotten, like, secondhand information regarding them. Umbilicus clear. Money's safe. Let's take her down. <laughs> the money is safe. <laughs> So here's the other problem. Okay. Look how big that ship is. Why do you need a ship that big? <laughs> you should have like a little shuttle like off Star Trek or something like that. Just a little shuttle. Come down here. Check it out. This ship is huge. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now your ship, you done broke your damn ship. 
Mm-hmm. I bet this shit trying to be nosy. It's a whole breach. A whole breach. Mm-hmm. Something to bust through your hole. Hmm. Yeah, you screwed. Dry dog. Tell me to die. Dry dog. Look, dice. we couldn't fix it out here anyway. We got to rewrite all these ducks, and uh, in order to do that, we've got to dry dock. Hmm. How long before it's functional? What? 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 It's 17 hours, fella. At least 25 hours. He got wind chimes in there. What the hell is she coming down here for? <laughs> <laughs> the hell is she coming down here for? Like to mm -hmm. Told you not to bring your ass down here anyway. Yeah, I'm with him. Just under 2,000 meters. Walking distance? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I'm yes. like gonna walk <laughs> two kilometers in that mess. Yeah, that figures. You too, Lambert. Well, made her break out the weapons. Look, the way she's chain smoking, that look on her face, yeah. everything she says, she already knows. She didn't get up this morning, read her tarot cards. She already knows she's screwed. She yeah. just don't know why. I like griping. Where the money oh, at? Knock it off. Where the scratch at? Where the payola? Where the skrilla? Duckets, greenbacks. Yes. <laughs> Pay me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm hmm Where's your spidey senses, y'all? Right. Mine's already tingling. Mine's going off like <laughs> What is it? That's crazy. Let's get out of here. That part. Yeah. That's there's that a piece part. of wisdom. <laughs> Dallas. Hmm, that's not good. Now y'all should see this alien architecture and be scratching y'all heads. They did a dope job of like making it feel organic, you know, but it's yeah. obviously it looks like a built structure and it's still slimy and nasty. I bet it's stanking mm -hmm. there. Ugh. It's growing out of the chair. Ugh. Bones have been mm -hmm. out of Like he exploded from inside. Ugh. I wonder what happened to the rest of the crew. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of interesting. So that might not even be the aliens' home planet. It's just where the ship crashed and the aliens happened to be on the ship. Maybe from another planet, for all we know. Yeah, what you said. Come on. Oh, I hate these people. These people are stupid. That thing's face is all jacked up. Ugh. What you make of this? That transmission. Mother's deciphered part of it. It doesn't look like an SOS. Well, what is it then? Well, I, it looks like a warning. I says, stay away, you dumbass. It did say, that's what she said. Don't come over her. Well, I don't know, but it's like the goddamn tropics in here. Damn, look how big that is. And you're going to be satisfied to some crawl up in your ass and stay there. Mm. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. This is completely enclosed. And it's full of leathery objects like eggs or something. Leathery objects like eggs. Look at it. That right there is saying, if you want to get out of here. Covering the eggs that reacts when broken. Oh, look at you. Now, you done, now you done fail in the eggs. Oh, my God. He said, I'm okay. What no, is that not. sound? <laughs> okay, I just slipped. Oh, my God. Oh, they're going to get medieval on his ass. Mm, it's a whole bunch of them. Oh, it's still glistening. Don't stop. Mm. You touching it? Look at this! Oh, why would you touch this? I'm gonna just look even further. Look at this. See, that's oh, that's what happens when you have gone. You uh, have gone through your entire lifeline. Your entire lifeline. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so I don't understand, yeah. like, how they get on this ship? Is that from the original? Something has attached itself to him. Something has attached itself to him. Okay, so they something has attached itself to him. Open the hatch. Wait a minute. We let it in. Hell no. That part. Thank you, Ripley. Four hours for decontamination. It could die in 24 hours. Open the hatch. Well, Listen screw to him in. Would you open the goddamn hatch? We have to get him inside. Oh, how are y'all no. like scientists? Do yes. If you no. Were in my position, you'd do the same. No. Thank you, Ripley. Ripley, this in order. You hear me? Yes. I read you. The answer is negative. Thank you, Ripley. Oh, this dude overrode it. Y'all tripping. It's inside of his helmet? Yes. It ate through the faceplate and it's on his is on his head. This is one of them oh. face hugger things, right? Yes. He is just right now being raped all in his mouth. Just Look all at, in oh, your mouth. You oh. You how the hell is he breathing? He's still alive or what? I wanted you guys freeze him. That part. How come they don't freeze him? What, what's going on? Y'all just let this thing run him up. Oh, dang, she so sweet oh. on her, didn't she? Oh. Well, maybe she has a point, you know? Who the that hell knows what that thing is? I'm gonna get that off now. Y'all tripping, man. Y'all are tripping. We mean, get it off. This alien has attached itself to dude. At this point, dude's a loss. We'll have to take a look at him inside. Right. Mm. How come they don't freeze it? <laughs> I feel you, How brother. How come they don't freeze it? I feel you, brother. What's it got down his throat? I would suggest it's... What's it got down his throat? Hmm? A violation. You know how it work. You know how hmm. anatomy work. Uh, what do you want to do this? Look at that. This isn't just... Oh. Oh, look at this. Y'all tripping. Oh. Burn yeah, through the damn yeah. ship. Yeah, you think that's normal? Oh. Pure acid. That thing's gonna eat through the goddamn hall. Come on. What's going on? Again, why didn't you freeze it? And that was just a couple of drops. That's what's crazy. Oh. Listen. What? Well, and y'all let that thing in y'all ship. From here on out, I I, I see okay. why Ripley's beloved. She's the only one that got any damn right. sense. Him, her, and, and my brother right here. Like, at least freeze it. And you let him in. And you let him in. Yes. The banger direct order, remember? No. Ash, when Dallas and Kane are off the ship, I'm senior officer. That part. Oh, yes, I forgot. Oh, you forgot. You also forgot the science division's basic quarantine law. That, oh. Oh, I see you just broke it. Huh? Look, what would you have done with Kane? Hmm? Left his ass out there. Unfortunately, by uh, breaking quarantine, you risk everybody's life. <clears throat> it's a pretty big risk for a science officer. It's uh, not exactly out of the manual, is it? And you're the science officer. You're supposed to know better. No, not in the corner. Shh. I want to see what? Yeah, he's just tripping. <laughs> Right now, he's primed to have his face just pounced on. Why don't y'all put him in mm. cold storage like the brother said? Uh, they just... Mm. Oh, here it comes. Okay. He deserved oh, it. So oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's fine. That's a reflex action. Well, we've got to have a look at this. He need a cigarette right now. He didn't skeet at his love. Oh, <laughs> my man sleep after you him. <laughs> yeah. Dallas, it has to go back. Well, I'd assume there's not been at stake, but you're the science officer. You're your decision, Ash. Gee, oh my gosh. Since when is that standard procedure? Standard procedure is to do what the hell they tell you to do. What's happening with the repairs? How's it going? Oh, they're pretty much finished. Y'all done broke, I don't know how many rules now with this bullshit. Oh, we're blind on B and C decks. The, the reserve power system's Oh, blind. no, that's a bunch of horseshit. We can take off without that. This dude, how are you the leader? 
remember some horrible dream about smothering her. Anyway, where are we? Right here. We're on our way home. Yeah, back to the old freezerinos. <laughs> that dude is so happy. This is the first thing that I'm going to do when I get back. Is oh, get this is the scene. Food. Is it? It's coming up. Is this the scene? Yeah, it's coming up. What's the matter? The food ain't that bad, on, baby. Jane. Come on. <laughs> you chill for uh, trial. Uh, mm. Science officer. Hey! Hey, what's going on? Like y'all ain't run no tests on them or nothing, just Oh! Oh, the look on everybody's face! Yo, you see the look? Hell no! Oh, he got Oh! Shoot! Oh god! Yo. Yeah, somebody got a blast on like, the They just see him chilling and he's just looking at him. This is just an ordinary prod, like a cattle prod. And then alien literally dropped, dropped his kids on his chest. Here, <laughs> it's like damn sure nobody puts their hand on it. Eat it all in his. Come here. My man really got a net. All right now. Easy. They're probably that damn cat. They're playing the head his way with that cat. Oh, good Heard call. It. Mm. Oh, yeah, you're gonna be the first to catch the L. Oh, yeah. I can already see this happen. Don't they? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> oh, yeah. at work. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Another cool, another yeah. cool set, though. Why would you just have random chains swinging on a spaceship? That's random. It's just somebody in set design is like, yeah, this will be cool. It don't make no damn sense. No practical but... sense whatsoever. Oh. That's more skeet juice. Oh, this is the what alien. Is, what is that? Is that? It's the alien. Yeah. Yeah, I saw his head. I saw his head. He better drop on him. The alien giving him the P. Diddy special. Look, look, the cat's like, mm-mm. It's like, mm-mm. No. Oh, look, look behind him. Come on, baby. Okay, I said, you better run. Oh. Oh. That thing got big quick. Oh. Uh. Look, the cat said, mm-mm. Yeah, you done. Uh. Oh. Oh. Come on, Ash. I mean, science department should be able to help us. What can we do to drive it? Yes, well, it's adapted remarkably well to our... Uh, oh, another throat shot for this dude. The only thing we don't know about is temperature. Okay, what about temperature? What happens if we change it's, it? How that chick came in and stole on Ripley? Yeah. Every yeah. time I do, open his mouth. It's on, he, sight. on sight. On, on sight. sight. Every single time. Uh, am I, am I clear, Lambert? but I want to get the hell out of here. Oh God, it's moving right towards you. Uh. Oh, wait. No, get out. Oh. No, no, no. Wait, no, no, wake up. Oh, oh that's your ass. No. Take it easy. Dallas. Dallas is a wrap. Well, Ripley's in charge now, so at least they can make some smart decisions now. Idea. No, they didn't listen to her to begin with. I know. Proceed with Dallas's plan. What? And then don't blame the others? Oh, I know you ain't talking you to me. You shut your ass up. I know you ain't talking to me. We get the shuttle and just get the hell out of here. We take our chances and just hope that somebody can get us You mean, you mean the one we should have let on board? Ten months. Well, let's talk okay, about no, don't killing get it. We know it's using the air shafts. Will you listen to me, Parker? Shut up! Yeah. That's it. Now that's how you should have been at first. Mm -hmm. Is that acceptable to you? It means killing it. It's acceptable to me. Obviously, it means killing it. But we have to stick to 
Ash is the next one. I'd be like, I'd have already volunteered to be like, listen, you the one catching it. Ash. Look, Ash, Ash wouldn't get killed by, uh, by the thing. What would you like to do? Just what you've been doing, Ash. Nothing. Mm. I've got access to mother mm. now and I'll get my own answers. Mm. Something real shady about Ash too, though. Cause you notice how mm -hmm. he just don't care when people be dying. He'd be like, whatever. Something off with that dude. Like, me see like a, a what is it, sociopath or something? Yeah, something's off with Ash. Cause you just like everybody else has got some kind of emotional response going on except for him. Science officer eyes see, only. Right there. That right there. He knew. He Emergency knew. Command override. Investigate life form. Gather specimen. Wow. Ensure return of organism for analysis. Told you. Told you. I oh, knew it. A crew expendable. Ash. Told you. It's Ash. Look, look at him. For this, you know. Oh, he about, he about to try and kill her, isn't he? Oh, oh, Ash ain't got no hands. Never mind. Ash ain't got no hands. Be you got him, Ruby. Look at the way he looking. Ruby. Look at the way he looking like a super villain. That is not Bilbo right there. That is not. Bilbo Baggins is not walking through that door. <laughs> oh, look how, look how tiny. Oh, look at what's up with his face. Wait, wait. Why he got, what's that grit? <laughs> what's that stuff dripping off of him? <laughs> Yo, he snatched all her hair out. Wait a minute, Ash might got hands. Shit. Ash is a uh, is a serial killer on Earth. Oh yeah, how is he that strong? Yo, there's something wrong with him. There, he's uh, yeah, he's like a sociopath. Who? Oh whoa, he right, better he get break her up. throat. Yeah, he getting ready to crush her windpipe. Oh. Word? Yeah. Who I didn't even know that was a that? thing. <laughs> Yo, how is he that strong? Hey. Is he part robot or something? He must be. Get him out. Yeah, he's Man. he's a robot. He's got to be. Hey, a cyborg. <laughs> oh, no, he's got an alien in him. Oh, yeah. No. This is a oh. What the f That's why he oh, have no emotions cuz he ain't even human. He's not even human. What in the hell? And nobody even know. She's a robot. Wow. That's a weird turn. It's a random right, he turn. He put hands on your bro. He put hands on Oh, yo, this is just turning into a ish show for real. Look at this. I think it was they must have wanted the alien for the weapons division. It's been protecting it right along. Yeah, so he didn't know not alone. Yep. Um, I don't know what. Because he may know how to kill it. Damn, how far we've come, Bilbo. That is some nasty stuff going on right now. Ash, can you hear me? Ugh. You got the cream of wheat leaking still. Ash! Oh. Yeah. Yeah, oh, look at that. He been at P. Diddy party. <laughs> I can't with you. What was it? Bring back life form. Priority one. All other priorities rescinded. That's why it was so cold, man. Crew is expendable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Remorse. Delusions of morality. I don't, I've heard enough of this, and I'm asking you to pull the plug. <laughs> He's like, Listen, I'm not gonna tell you this once calmly. <laughs> we'll take our chances in the shuttle, blow up the ship. Yeah. Mm, and then there were three Jones. <laughs> They're doing the pss pss. <laughs> Come here. No, just kidding. Jones? Jones? 
It ain't Jones in there with you. No, take the gun with you. See you over here fiddling with that stupid cat. Oh. Mm. She just stood there the whole time. Just stood there. Mm. And what's up with these aliens just sexually abusing people? Like. Oh, they got them all strung up. With his head off. Mm, mm, mm. Emergency destruct system is now activated. The ship will detonate in T minus ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah. There's our literal ticking time bomb. Okay. So why does she have to come down here? To get to the pod, I think. Oh, I think she's trying to kill it before she before it she hops onto the pod. Oh look, it's a, made a little nest on your thing. Oh, now kill it. Just right. kill him. Ah, oh, look at dude. Just kill him. He's done. They eat food. Yeah, they, they even put they food when the babies come mm -hmm. out. He saying, kill me? Kill me. Yeah, I, I would oblige you, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's barbecue time. Yeah, but I, I'm like, I got you, playboy. Yeah. The option to override automatic detonation expires in T minus three minutes. You got three minutes, huh? Oh, trying to get the cat. cat. Yeah, that's smart. Oh, one minute, huh? So I guess she's gonna try and override it, huh? Ship will automatically destruct in T minus five minutes. Mm. Oh, missed that window. Why are you mad at her? You the one that put the thing on. Just get to the ship, girl. The alien definitely don't want the cat. You now have one minute to abandon ship. The ship. She's on the ship. Is he on her with her? In T minus one minute. Four, 23, 22, 21, 20 seconds, 19. That is a big ship. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Dang, dang, you really nuked that ship. Yeah, but like, how he know where he where she was going? Well, remember she was heading that way, and then he was blocking the way. I think that's why he she went back to try and turn off the. Uh, yeah, but he just knew. He's like, oh, they got a ship over here. Like, yeah, oh. he doesn't seem like he's that kind of smart. Like, he's more. He just. Oh, it's in the cat, isn't it? But what's in the cat, though? Like uh, whatever the little egg things or whatever. I don't know. I don't trust the cat. This couldn't help with a gratuitous to have Ripley shut down to a skivvy. I mean, it is. She is a sci-fi scream queen now. I guess after this movie. Oh, that's most unfortunate. <laughs> that that makes that reminds me. I got close to iron tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that's the alien's head, isn't it? <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, and you got to fight half naked too. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> He's like, you know, I didn't bust it through that. Yeah, he's like, come on. He's like, stop tripping. Oh, well, she's strapping in, huh? Ah. 
They need to bring his whole ass out that little spot. Mm. Oh, yeah. Now you out, huh? Woo, that's a different kind of scared. <laughs> oh, he said nope. Oh. Oh, oh, turn the edges, turn the edges, turn the edges. Yeah. Chicken fried alien. Mm, 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 yummy. Mm. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Last survivor. Signing off. If she only knew how this was going to, like, absolutely mm -hmm. launch her career. Mm. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you want to watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. I think that's it, yup. That is it. We know there ain't no post credit scenes on any of this. Uh, wow, okay. Yo, that is definitely a classic among classics. Hey, hey, I'm so proud of you, dog. You made it. You survived it. Alien. Arguably mm -hmm. one of the scariest sci-fi horror films of all time. The one that set the standard. He was like, I don't know if I could do it. Look at you. You here. We in this. I got you, man. <laughs> you know, I gotta ask. So what you think? This doesn't live up to the hype, you know, for a 40 plus year old movie. Was it not? Is it was it as scary as you thought? Was it not? You know, did it meet meet the expectations? It's it's, it's not uh, it's not really. I mean, to say scary is really not the right word for mm. it. I mean, um, I don't know. It had, you know, the jump cuts and the things that, you know, kind of kind of shook me and stuff and um, just yeah, I don't. Here's the thing. I'm, I did it. I can be like, yay, I got through it. <laughs> I don't plan on doing that again. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was. I mean, it was. It was something. It was. It, I guess to answer your question, yeah, it it stands up. This movie's 45 years old, and I would say, I would say definitely that it stands up. So for people that said it's, I don't know not horror but probably one of the top sci-fi movies yeah. of all time and especially from the time which it comes yeah, yeah it, it definitely holds up yeah I, I i'm with you on that um i'm really surprised in the quality you know um most things that i've seen from the 80s and earlier shoot even the 90s and earlier when it comes to cg the cg just doesn't hold it just doesn't but practical effects hold they do you know it looks the part there's no weird aliasing going on there's no jitters or whatever it is it just it just is what it is and for this uh i didn't see hardly any cg except for the stuff like when you actually saw the ships and i think that was even a model you know how star wars used the little micro mm -hmm. miniatures and stuff like that so even that's is, is our practical effects i think like maybe there was some blue screen stuff when you're looking out of the window maybe but i think that's about it everything else you know was something you can touch and feel uh, including the alien itself as a dude in a the costume there's a couple things that was surprising one is how you don't really see the alien that much you know for a movie that's kind of based around it you know it's not like your typical michael myers jason Voorhees, freddy krueger kind of things where the, the the story is central around that that horrible bad person you know this is really is centered around ripley and how she's trying to to survive and you just see you know moments of the alien so between using practical effects i feel like that's like the jaws effect right like jaws was the one it was the one project that really uh put the fear in the thing that you don't see right you know there's not a lot of shots of the of the shark in jaws in case you don't know uh but mm -hmm. it's terrifying because you can't see what's beneath the water you know it's all just this mm -hmm. your, your mind is, is playing more of the horror and there's a bit of that effect here um, I agree with you when it comes to the horror element. By today's standards, no, this isn't like, you know, your full-blown terror, terrifying horror. It's jump scares and stuff. But in the context 
of the time and it being a sci-fi horror which is a whole different melding of two genres which is relatively new i am sure at that time please let me know uh, in the in the comments if there was something before this i could see it being terrifying in that space you know but by today's standards not so much what's what's really lasting is sigourney weaver is lasting um the suspense it's got it's got a lot of suspense which is really good the suspense is lasting uh the set design is lasting um the the alien when you do see it it does look good that that's lasting like this is it's just quality through and through i agree with everything you just said i think um you know here's the thing about horror horror can happen anywhere so just because it's in space or on this spaceship horror is horror mm -hmm. um so it had really, you know, had really good jump cuts in it. Um, I know there were several, several pieces that uh, scared me out of my little draw. So uh, <laughs> it, it did it did what it was supposed to do on that front. Um, uh, I do like the practical effects that was used. And I think one of the smart things about this is if you're spending a budget, and like you said earlier, um, even though it's that's 1979 money, mm -hmm. this had a budget of 11 million. Right. The one thing you don't need is that you don't have to lean on the monster, in this case, the alien, mm -hmm. chasing everybody all around and showing it gratuitously for no apparent reason. Have it show up in spurts or whatever have to do is damage you have you know you saw his tail you saw the the mouthpiece like you didn't even have to show the whole thing every time to do the thing and i think that's more effective because then you you keep the tension high um and people are more afraid of the unknown um especially like you know you had some of our people that hadn't seen it yeah. they'd barely seen it and a lot of things like that kept the tension really high so in that regard, that completely worked. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it worked for me. Shit, I was scared. Of that. <laughs> well, that's a good place to kind of like stick a fork in this. This is. I know. I, it, uh, yeah, I couldn't have been on that ship. I to, everybody <laughs> got their ass left. All right, so we're, we're gonna close out uh, at least the, the the this part of the review and send you on over uh to the patreon so that you can get a little bit more of the deeper dive thank you so much for watching us if you enjoy just the way me and Rakai chop it up be a fan of the channel of course hit that subscription button and give us that thumbs up because that's how the people know you're digging what we're giving you and Rakai, uh anything any quick closing thoughts and make sure you let the people know how they can get in contact with you uh quick closing thoughts is um one of the things that uh we have talked about and stuff is you know you know us and we give these quality reviews and, and discussions um and do these deep dives especially if you're over on the patreon about a number of things and, and sci-fi uh geek culture is our deal um we're gonna try to do more movies and things in line with this uh he didn't i can't say that i was tricked into this he did ask me and i did agree <laughs> begrudgingly um so this is this is my fault i might have to take that up. <laughs> uh, can't stop won't stop yeah i'm gonna have to take that uh, but from here on out we're gonna try to do more movies and stuff so if you have any suggestions of movies we should definitely do movies series anything like that yeah definitely drop that in the comments you can find me on all social media my youtube page uh my patreon it's all noop from the ville n-u-p-e-f-r-o-m-d-a-v-i-l-l-e -E, because all about this and all about this right here yeah that's what i'm talking about listen or if you can get all that there'll be a link in the description i think the links are actually clickable too so you can just click it you know take you uh, directly to his YouTube page. Make sure you show that love and support. Hey, in the chat, let us know what we got right, what we got wrong in the fun one, especially when it comes to movies, or uh, what did we miss? And also, you know, let us know if you want us to do Aliens. I might have to, you know, buy Rakaia a bottle of something before we <laughs> before he signs off on that. Uh, yeah, it definitely going to have to be like a happy, happy hour. <laughs> I'm about to be over here funny. Listen, listen, thank y'all so much for your time, uh, and we will catch y'all over there on the Patreon. All right, y'all. Take care. Peace.